Hi everybody, it's Maya and today we are going to be reviewing and trying on my October Ipsy bag. I have the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, meaning I get five full-size products every month and I get to pick out three out of five of those products. This subscription is $25 a month. I think it actually increased in price a little bit, so now I'm paying about $28 or $29. If you guys are interested in seeing these products, reviewed and also tried on on my face then just keep on watching so october's bag is super spooky and neon looking it is just a black bag with some vampire lips on it with this neon green tassel or tie <laughs> and yeah it's really cute and spooky for october and for the season and all of that the first product in here is a big box <laughs> and this is the one 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 skin nocturnal eclipse recovery cream yeah i guess it's a moisturizer one one skin or i don't know how to pronounce this brand one 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 skin or 111 skin or whatever it's called but this brand is super expensive usually their products range from over a hundred dollars to even two to three hundred this moisturizer right here goes for $280 so I don't know about that price point I don't think any skincare products could be worth that much money but this is the little moisturizer right here like they said it's more of a night cream moisturizer so it's going to be thicker than your typical everyday moisturizer but if you have dry skin or if you're just looking to hydrate your skin, then this would work well for that. And this is what the inside looks like. Just a basic cream. Obviously it's not basic if it's $280 though. So I'm just going to pick up about finger sized amounts. And yeah, I just washed my face. So I'll use this to moisturize it. A little bit goes a long way. It feels good on the skin, but it doesn't feel anything like $200, almost $300 worth. <laughs> we'll have to see. With skincare, it's hard to like just test it with your first initial impressions because everything always feels good on the face. It just depends on how it sinks in, how it wears throughout the day, and also if it disturbs your makeup. So we'll see how this sits for the rest of the video. But yeah, I like that. I just don't think it's worth $200. Next product in here is this Illa Masqua Beyond Liquid Highlighter. And this is in the shade OMG. So this is a little box it comes in. Black and gold box. I don't really like the box too much, but not that that matters, it depends on what the product looks like, but yeah, this is cute. Just looks like this liquid highlighter, and this one goes for $31. This comes with a little squeezy applicator, very similar to that CoverGirl um, liquid blush that they have. I said CoverGirl, <laughs> Flower Beauty, but yeah, let me just swatch this real quick looks like a gold champagne color and let's anyways this is the highlighter it I blended it out on the back of my hand and it looks very fine it looks just really glowy and it has a nice little gold sparkle in there but it doesn't look like it's gonna be like too dark or anything yeah it seems like you can wear it very intensely as a spot highlighter or you could even apply it kind of all over your face before makeup to give your skin a dewy look because on the back of my hand it's just making my, my hand look really shiny and glowy so next product in here is by Tarte and it is their sugar brush line I don't really know Tarte has a whole bunch of different names they have like their Amazonian clay collection and this seems to be the Sugar Rush collection, but it is the Easy on the Eyes Clay Liner 
in the shade black and I did open this yesterday and swatch it on the back of my hand and I don't know if you guys noticed earlier this little mark on my hand I drew a heart yesterday at about three o'clock and I just took a shower this morning and I just remember that it was there and I was scrubbing it with my washcloth and it was not coming off so yeah that thing stays on it is this is what it looks like it looks like a freaking magic wand from a magician <laughs> but yeah it's just a basic not basic it's just another liner and this goes for $19 I will swatch it again right here so it's nice and fresh super black and yeah I'll see how that wears on the eyes later but yeah that thing is not going nowhere I'm sure if you press hard enough it like fades but it doesn't smudge this eyeliner claims to be everything proof so smear proof smudge proof transfer proof and waterproof we will test that out later the next product in here is by El Maquillage. Okay, this is their Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. The packaging is reminding me very much of the Milk Makeup Crush Mascara. It has the exact same silver box, the exact same font, and yeah, I feel like they're copying. But yeah, even the tube is the exact same as the Crush Mascara, except this one is a little bit thinner, not as heavy. But this one goes for $25. Yeah, I hope it's good. We'll test it out later. But this is the wand. Looks pretty, looks pretty good. And then we have one more product left. And I did open this yesterday too. So it's out of its packaging. But this is the About Face light lock lip gloss in the shade angel on fire i'm glad to have this this goes for twenty dollars and they describe the shade angel on fire as an icy mauve color and it smells like peppermint lavender and coconut because it has all those oils in it applicator is just really cute and small and let's swatch the color i'll build it up just a little bit more Looks more like a peachy kind of color more than anything. We'll see how it looks like on my lips later, but yeah, it smells like peppermint, lavender, and coconut. <laughs> exactly the oils that are in there. Alright, so that was all five of my products. The moisturizer is definitely moisturizing my skin. It has not sunken in completely, but it just left my skin feeling very hydrated and ready for makeup, so I like that moisturizer. But yeah, if you want to see the rest of them, we're just going to do the rest of my makeup really quick. I will walk you through the products that I'm using today just because I think that's more fun. And yeah, we're going to try out these makeup products. For today's eye look, I'm going to be doing a bunch of liquid eyeshadows. Not so much any powders, just to do something different and new. My original goal for today's look was to kind of match the Ipsy bag. I wanted to do like a black and green kind of moment but I don't really do my makeup like that um as much as I would love to I don't think I can pull it off and I don't think that I could even attempt to make it look good <laughs> for foundation I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop in the shade 3 I usually just apply this foundation with a brush just because it does go a long way and it is more of a full coverage kind of skin tint I would call it more light to medium coverage than a just light coverage. What I hate about hearing other people's first impressions on products is that we all have different skin types. So I have combo skin leaning more towards oily and you know people have dry skin, people have oily skin, people have normal skin. When I watch reviews of people's first impressions, the foundation doesn't wear the way that they say it's going to wear. Like if they bash a foundation, specifically the eavesdrop, this one girl was bashing it saying that she had the most oily skin at the end of the day. I'm going in with the Rare Beauty Concealer right now in the shade 180W. 
But yeah, the girl was bashing Fenty Eavesdrop, saying that her skin was an oily mess. Like, at the end of the day, after she did her wear test. And I was like, oh, hell no. So, I bought it and I tried it out. And I was just looking for oils. So, whenever I saw my skin starting to get oily, like it always does, I was just like, oh my god, the Eavesdrop is making my skin an oily mess. It wasn't. It actually wears a lot better than a lot of my other products. It doesn't make my skin like too oily or too dry. It just kind of keeps it looking natural and really good at the end of the day. But I let someone else's opinion affect mine before I could even try it. Which is why when I made my Fenty Eavesdrop review, I like fell in love with it. The skin is looking nice and fresh. Like the way it is looking it's really natural and skin like keeping it fenty i'm going to go with the fenty cream bronzer in the shade butter biscuit i love this brush for cream products it just works really nicely and just hugs your cheek i keep saying i need to buy another one of these brushes one for foundation and then one for my cheek products but I just keep forgetting. I'm gonna add it on my freaking Christmas and birthday list this year. My birthday is next month, November 19th. So if any of my family or anyone who buys me a gift this year, aka my fiance or Brooke, my sister, is watching this, I want this brush. I don't think they're going to see this though. <laughs> and then for blush today, I'm going in with my Tower 28 blush in the shade Magic Hour. This is just a neutral peachy kind of blush. That's a really nice pretty fall blush, but it could also work as a more everyday neutral kind of blush. It's really pretty. And I think this is going to match the lip gloss really well. I need to be more mindful of my blush placement. Usually I just freaking take a brush and I just do a whole circle along the entirety of my cheek and you know it's cute but I, whenever I watch my videos back I'm just like I'm not even I don't even care where I put that blush I'm just putting it everywhere. Now we're going to set the face with the Undone Beauty Under Over Powder and I'm gonna take that on a sponge. I've been setting my face lately with a brush, but I kind of miss doing it with a sponge. They both kind of do the same thing. For the eyes, I'm going in with the Rare Beauty Liquid Eyeshadows. This was in her Stay in Selena Gomez's Stay Vulnerable collection, and this is in the shade Nearly Rose. I think it's going to match the blush really well and also the lip gloss. So I haven't played with these in a minute either. I remember loving them when they came out. But yeah, I want to get back into doing like liquid eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna place it like that. And I'm taking the brush that I came with too and blending it out. I'm just using this mostly to just get it where I want it on the eye in the shape that I want it in. It is kind of scary at first because it's like you don't know if it is blending out nicely or not but it ends up blending out really beautifully and this brush wasn't clean so there's sparkles all over me. And then I'm taking a fluffy brush and just diffusing the edges. I just kind of want the eye look today. I'm going to go with another color too. Sticking with liquid eyeshadow, I'm going in with the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint. And this is in the shade Cloned. I got this in one of my first Ipsy bags. And I just wanted to use it again because why not? And I'm actually going to take this one on the back of my hand and pick it up with a brush. Because it is a super deep chocolate brown color. And even though it blends out really easily... It still scares me to apply a dark color like that. So just taking it and I'm going to shape it into a V on my outer corner just to give my eyes some more definition. 
Yeah, then I'm just taking another fluffy brush, or the same fluffy brush, and I'm gonna help blend that some more. With the About Face fluid eye paints, they are a lot more forgiving, but they dry down very quickly. So you kind of have to work super fast with them. What do we think of the eyes? I think that's a cute look. It's very fall toned, like a neutral fall toned kind of look. Now for the next Ipsy product, I'm going to be going in with the Easy on the Eyes eyeliner. I think I'm going to do a basic eye look, like a really natural looking eyeliner, hopefully. Just going to create a really, really tiny wing with this. Now for the mascara, right off the bat, it gave me length, and it's separating them very easily. It's curling them and keeping them lifted, like it cleaned as well. It's not getting clumpy or anything. Here's the side by side. So yeah, it claimed to make your eyes do that wide eye look, and it did do that. My personal preference is not this mascara. I am not a fan of like a wide eyed look. I prefer when the lashes kind of more wispy and natural and like how the Rare Beauty mascara makes the lashes look. It just really makes them long and like really pretty. Same with the Warrior Princess from Flower Beauty. This mascara is good. It just depends on what is your preference lash wise like what do you like in your lashes to do it's good i will continue to use it i will update you guys in the description box if it like smudges or gets nasty at the end of the day so next we're gonna do the highlighter now on the rest of my face we're gonna pick this up with the brush and highlight my face with it Ooh, damn, okay. So I'm gonna take whatever's left and just kind of run it around and blend. That is really, really pretty and champagne looking. It gives the skin that wet look, which if you like, this highlighter's for you. I like that too. Yeah, it looks really, really good. It's made my face look really moisturized and healthy. Yeah, that is really intense. It reminds me a lot of the Rare Beauty highlighter. So now I'm just going to go over this with my sponge just because that was a lot. I shouldn't have applied it to my chin. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, you can't even see it sitting on the skin. It just really looks like your skin is healthy and it just gives off a really really pretty effect if you like highlight so for the final ipsy product and just to complete the look i'm now going in with the light lock lip gloss in angel on fire oh i like that i like the applicator very pretty color too i like that I don't have any colors like this in my collection. They're either always super pink or super peachy, and this is kind of like a hybrid. Oh, that's really pretty, and it matches the look perfectly. Not sticky at all. Feels amazing, tastes amazing on the lips. I love that. Wow, that lip gloss is really, really good. So this is the final look that I completed with all of my Ipsy products, as well as a few of my own. I'm actually really obsessed with it. I think it's a very cute monochromatic moment. I have the same blush, lip, and eye color going on across the entire look. But yeah, every single month when I get my Ipsy bag, I'm always blown away by how well everything performs and how much use I actually get out of the products once I'm in my like daily routines. 
I can see myself using the eyeliner, the mascara, the highlight, the lip gloss. Like, I can see myself using this all the time. Yeah, what do you guys think about this look? What do you think about the products that I tried out today? I love them all. I have nothing bad to say. Other than the mascara not really being my preference of mascara, it still looks good and hopefully wears well throughout the day too. I'll keep you updated on that. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like it, comment what your favorite product was or what you got in your Ipsy bag if you have Ipsy. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.